Let's start by talking about that camera because it's definitely the headline feature. So if you open the camera app and then swipe down on the screen or swipe up, you can control where that lens is pointing. It's a 16 megapixel lens, so you can take very high resolution selfies. For a little more control, you can use this remote, which is going to come with the phone. Now, if you press the button in the middle of this remote, it'll take a photo, or if you press these other buttons on the top and bottom, it'll change the direction that that lens is pointing in. Apart from the cool camera, there's something else interesting about this phone. If you spin it around, it has a fingerprint sensor on the back as well. So this is a pretty large phone. It's got a 5.5 inch 1080p display. It's running Android version 4.4.4 KitKats, and it's also got Oppo's Color OS Android skin over the top. One potential downside to this phone is that it's reasonably heavy. It feels quite chunky, but if you're really, really into high resolution selfies, if you have to have as many pixels in your selfies as possible, then it could be worth checking out. Oppo says it's going to hit the market in mid